All right. We're going to be looking at Narito AI Content Genie. Uh, there's so many different AI tools that say, hey, we can be your one-stop shop for all things content creation. So today we're going to take a look to see if this tool can actually do it. So before we do, let me explain what this is. My name is Jordan Wilson, and this is AI in 5. I'm the host. So we do this every single day, uh, a daily live stream, podcast, and free daily newsletter helping everyday people like you and me not just understand generative AI, but how we can actually use it. So let's take a look at this uh, Narito uh, content genie and see if we can actually use it. So uh, there, it is a paid, uh, a paid uh, platform, but there is a free trial. So I just signed up for the free trial. It was pretty quick and pretty easy. So let's quickly take a look around. So uh, if you've ever used uh, different tools like a um, you know, Jasper, Copy AI, uh, any kind of like Jet AI tools like that, uh, you'll probably kind of uh, understand uh, kind of this this uh, layout, these templates. So as an example, there's a lot of different uh, kind of use cases, uh, one click. So like as an example, let's just go ahead and uh, click the AI blog writer, right? So I can click this. It's going to bring up, uh, you can search for your use cases. You can just do a brief with SEO. You can add your images, all of that good stuff. So let's just go, I'm just going to do this as an example. Um, I'm going to say uh, the history of generative AI and I can click next. So this is kind of a, an example that I do uh, a lot of times. So right now it says it's creating a blog outline. It can take up to, you know, five to 30 seconds. So you'll see right here, it kind of generated some different keywords, uh, article length, you can uh, change that. You can delete these keywords, you can add new, and it already has the uh, the blog outline uh, right there. So pretty, pretty, um, and it's good in, in, in terms of formatting uh, with the H2, H3 tags. So if you're in SEO, uh, you wanna see those uh, H2s and H3s. And I'm just gonna go ahead and click generate article. Uh, obviously, if I was doing this, I would go through, uh, try to make it a little more uh, personalized, a little more custom. And now you'll see um, it's going to be generating. So at the top, it says blog generation may take a minute or more. Feel free to come back to the editor later. So we're going to do exactly that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a quick look around in the uh, the rest of this platform while that generates. So you have your AI writer. Um, so let's go back and look at some of the other major features. Okay, so... Uh, the AI content assistant, that's where I got the uh, AI writer, but there's uh, dozens, it looks like dozens of different um, options. So you can do everything from uh, to use generative AI to create SEO meta descriptions, blog posts, uh, different copywriting formulas. So, you know, pass, problem, ag uh, problem agitate solution. Um, it looks like there's also, let's go ahead and try the AI image generator as well. So let's just, I'm going to say um, an illustration showing. I can't type showing the history of artificial intelligence. There we go. So I'm going to say image style. Let's say uh, I'm going to do a 3D render, additional style, none, and let's do square. Sure. So um, again, so right now with generative AI, one of the issues I think is, you know, the the best of the best is in so many different platforms. So, you know, if you really going to want to get the most out of generative AI, a lot of times you have to go into, you know, three, four, seven different platforms. Uh, so here we go. It's uh, an illustration showing the history of artificial intelligence. So obviously none of these words work correctly. So uh, that might not have been the best uh, use case, but, uh, you know, you can probably see that if you were doing something, let's just say a, uh, I'm going to say a futuristic robot uh, walking uh, amongst people. Okay. So again, like these all in one systems, I don't think they're, they're never going to be the best image generator or the best uh, copywriter or the best, you know, social media assistant. But if you can get kind of, um, you know, B plus results out of all of these, then maybe it's, it's, you know, worth uh, investing uh, a little bit more time and resources. So uh, these, uh, again, a very simple prompt. None of these really uh, hit the mark. Uh, this one looks, uh, eh, okay, not great. Um, but again, you know, I don't think in platforms like this, you should be expecting uh, mid-journey-esque uh, output. Uh, and the same thing, probably with the copy, you're probably not gonna uh, be able to get the type of copy that you can 
out of ChatGPT if you're using it correctly uh, with plugins, um, training it on your writing style, uh, those kind of things. So let's go ahead. Let's take a look at this AI content genie. That's kind of the, the, the new thing here that we wanted to look at. So let's just type in youreverydayai.com and themes or keywords. I'm going to say generative AI and let's see. So this is kind of the and one of the reasons why you might want to use uh, uh, Narito is for this AI content genie feature. So what this is, it helps you create um, just all kinds of different content. They say it helps you fill up your content calendar, you know, with uh, posts for, you know, your website, social media, images, graphics, uh, all of that. So right here, it says generation can take up to 60 seconds. That's okay. Um, so while we're waiting, while we're waiting on that, let's just jump back and see if we can find uh, our previous um, writing here that we had. So uh, I had the URL copied. Here it is. So here is our blog post. Um, you know, I'd have to I'd have to read this a little bit. Uh, it seems okay. Um, nothing fantastic. Uh, but what I do like is you can. Uh, integrate directly with WordPress. You can share to uh, social posts. You can schedule as well. That's another huge, uh, you, you know, um, kind of feature of this is being able to publish directly. If you have a WordPress site uh, to schedule social media posts, all of those things. And it looks like obviously you can go in here, uh, edit, uh, edit things, add, delete as you see fit. All right, let's now jump back in and let's see how this content genie is going. So, uh, I'll just kind of read the description of, of what it says that we, uh, what it's helping us with. So it says AI generated content from website and themes, edit, share, publish, or save, uh, enjoy content making on autopilot. So let's kind of, uh, kind of breeze through here and see what it's doing for us. So it looks like it's, it's creating multiple, uh, ideas for blog posts. And then I can just click generate blog or save for later. So it says the future of generative AI and enhancing creativity. Um, so it looks like right now it's creating a couple different blog posts, um, ideas. Let's see right here. It looks like a, a social media post. Um, what I like is it's pulling, uh, it's pulling information from the, uh, from the, from the everyday AI website. So as an example, um, which is like, I'm curious because it actually went to our subdomain, which is our newsletter, which is fine, but, uh, pretty good that it was actually smart enough to find, uh, the subdomains from the main domain and to pull out some content from there. So I like that. So it was kind of, uh, promoting one of our, uh, recent shows, one of our recent newsletters right there. Uh, same thing right here. Uh, so it, it created a social media post about, um, our kind of review of Canva magic studio. So pretty, you know, in terms of like, if you have a huge website like we do, so, you know, we've had about 120 episodes. Um, so we have an episode page every day. We have a newsletter every day. So that's hundreds of pieces of content. So, um, you know, I don't think, um, at least not for me, this is anything in here is good enough where I would just click, okay, go, but you can go in here. You can change the, change the media. You can obviously edit the media. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and just click uh, share now and see what options. So uh, it looks like you can connect a LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram uh, account. So, uh, I mean, we're at 99% here, but it looks like you kind of see the gist of what this uh, AI genie uh, tool does. I think it's actually, the concept of it is actually pretty good. Um, the implementation or the output is not fantastic, uh, but I've seen worse. So I, I, I'd say in terms of the output that it creates kind of automatically by uploading your website um, is, is, is good, uh, a little above average. But uh, again, I would not, for the most part, I would not use anything in here out of the box. Um, I would hope that in the future they, they give options. Maybe they do already, but they give options to, um, you know, a little bit more of examples of, of what you want to see and what you don't want to see out of your content. I do know they have, if you go in here, um, and if you go to organize, they do have brand voice, you can create custom AI templates. So I'd, I'd want to dig into those a little bit more, but this is supposed to be uh, a short review. So 
Uh, overall, I think Narito is a, a pretty good platform. There's a lot of different, um, a lot of different options. So if you are, uh, if you do run a, a website or, uh, if, if your company just has so much content on its website and you really need help creating new content or creating social media posts or whatever it may be, I do think that this is a tool worth checking out, uh, especially if you struggle going into three, four, 15 different, uh, generative AI tools. So. Uh, that's it. I hope this was helpful. If so, please go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for the free daily newsletter, and we hope to see you back for another AI in five or AI in 10. Thanks.